the oaks and chestnut how to tell them from other trees the oaks are rather difficult to identify and in studying them it will often be necessary to look for more than one distinguishing character the oaks differ from other trees in bearing acorns their leaves have many lobes and their upper lateral buds cluster at the top of the twigs the general contour of each oak presents a characteristic branching and sturdiness uncommon in other trees the chestnut differs from other trees in bearing burrs and its bark is also distinctly characteristic how to tell them from each other there are two groups of oaks the white oak and the black oak the white oaks mature their acorns in one year and therefore only acorns of the same year can be found on trees of this group the black oaks take two years in which to mature their acorns and therefore young acorns of the present year and mature acorns of the previous year may be found on the same tree at one time the leaves of the white oaks have rounded margins and rounded lobes while those of the black oaks have pointed margins and sharp pointed lobes the bark of the white oaks is light colored and breaks up in loose flakes while that of the black oaks is darker and deeply ridged or tight white oak quercus alba distinguishing characters the massive ramification of its branches is characteristic of this species and often an easy clue to its identification the bark has a light gray color lighter than that of other oaks and breaks into soft loose flakes the leaves are deeply lobed the buds are small round and congested at the end of a year's growth the acorns usually have no stalks and are set in shallow rough cups the kernels of the acorns are white and palatable form and size the white oak grows into a large tree with a wide-spreading massive crown dissolving into long heavy twisted branches when grown in the open it possesses a short sturdy trunk in the forest its trunk is tall and stout range eastern north america soil and location the white oak thrives in almost any well-drained good deep soil except in a very cold and wet soil it requires plenty of light and attains great age enemy the tree is comparatively free from insects and disease except in districts where the gypsy moth is common in which case the leaves of the white oak are a favorite food of its caterpillars value for planting the white oak is one of the most stately trees its massive form and its longevity make the tree suitable for both lawn and woodland planting but is not much used because it is difficult to transplant and grows rather slowly commercial value the wood is of great economic importance it is heavy hard strong and durable and is used in cooperage construction work interior finish of buildings and for railroad ties furniture agricultural implements and fuel black oak quercus velutina distinguishing characters the bark is black rough and cut up into firm ridges especially at the base of the tree the inner bark has a bright yellow color the leaves have sharp points and are wider at the base than at the tip the buds are large downy and sharp pointed the acorns are small and have deep scaly cups the inner margins of which are downy the kernels are yellow and bitter form and size the tree grows in an irregular form to large size with its branches rather slender as compared with the white oak and with a more open and narrow crown range eastern north america soil and location it will grow in poor soils but does best where soil is rich and well drained enemies none of importance value for planting the black oak is the poorest of the oaks for planting and is rarely offered by nurserymen commercial value the wood is heavy hard and strong but checks readily and is coarse grained it is of little value except for fuel the bark is used for tannin other common names yellow oak red oak quercus rubra distinguishing characters the bark is perpendicularly fissured into long smooth light gray strips giving the trunk a characteristic pillar effect it has the straightest trunk of all the oaks the leaves possess more lobes than the leaves of any of the other species of the black oak group the acorns the largest among the oaks are semi-spherical with the cups extremely shallow the buds are large and sharp pointed but not as large as those of the black oak they also have a few fine hairs on their scales but are not nearly as downy as those of the black oak form and size the red oak is the largest of the oaks and among the largest of the trees in the northern forests it has a straight trunk free from branches to a higher point than in the white oak the branches are less twisted and emerge at sharper angles than do those of the white oak range it grows all over eastern north america and reaches north farther than any of the other oaks soil and location it is less fastidious in its soil and moisture requirements than the other oaks and therefore grows in a great variety of soils it requires plenty of light enemies like most of the other oaks this species is comparatively free from insects and disease value for planting 
the red oak grows faster and adapts itself better to poor soil conditions than any of the other oaks and is therefore easy to plant and easy to find in the nurseries it makes an excellent street tree is equally desirable for the lawn and is hardly surpassed for woodland planting commercial value the wood is hard and strong but coarse grained and is used for construction timber interior finish and furniture it is inferior to white oak where strength and durability are required 